Hi, you guys. How you doing? Uh, welcome to the channel. This is Color and Chat with Joanna. Hi, I am Joanna. Um, I am trying a new thing. I got an easel. Okay, I'm going to use my heavy duty cover minder. I bought these magnets, Dollar Tree, super strong. Um, and I'm going to see if they hold. I don't know if it will or not through here. Nope. Shoot. There. Okay. <clears throat> Move it up a little bit so you can see. What I'm thinking of doing, I got this easel for $5. Let me show it to you. Okay. And I'm trying to uh, get my... Um, Diamond paintings on a kind of an upward thing. So, hold on a minute. We'll put magical tree down for a second. Um, that's only 22 by 22. And it only has 38 colors, but oh, you guys, the colors. Oh, they're so beautiful. Anyway, this was on Amazon, $5, and it has two magnets with it that are actually pretty strong. They're not bad. So I thought maybe I could do sections, but there is kind of an issue. I didn't really consider the light pad, you know, because if you're going to do a light pad and then, wait a minute, <gasps> it works. It works in the light pad. Look. Oh, oh. This was $5.99. You guys, I swear to God. And lately I've been like, really? Oh, man, my back. <gasps> I am having a season of bad back mania. I'm telling you, it is killing me. So I thought... You know, I could go like, you know, section by section and do it like that. But this magnet, I wanted something heavy, you know, to hold it because, well, first of all, because I love my cover minder that I made all by my lonely, my little, this was my, um, my Titanic costume uh, and I didn't want to ruin it because I still want to wear it. Well, let me show you. Hold on. Let me try to do this. I need my right hand here. Let's move her back a little bit. <laughs> I got a lot going on here right now. Okay. If I want to wear this over a sweater or anything like that, it'll hold. Look. It's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. So, you know what? Not, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> of course, now I have a magnet in my hair. <laughs> but it holds up. Yeah, look at the hair. I have hair under my hair. I swear. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking, why don't we try this? I can angle the camera a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. I can still do, um, you know, uh, whipping chats and that kind of thing. Uh, but I can just push it on here with the pen, with the pen. I don't know. It may work. It may not. I'm just trying it out and I wanted to see what you guys think of it. Um, like I said, when, you know, I, uh, Buying a drafting table would be, um, I'm not worried so much about the monetary expense because, you know, they're all, you know, it's a good investment, but honestly, I got to tell you, I don't know. I don't know, um, that a drafting table is really going to work for me. So today I thought we could do a little whip and chat. Um, so drag out whatever you're working on. I am going to keep
kit her up. Uh, I think I can get her done before the end of January. Well, I gotta get her done by Christmas, of course. But, I mean, this is like two weeks. I can probably knock this out. Um, there are some really good color blocking and, and that kind of thing. So, she doesn't look, she might be, I don't know, she might be, she might be scamming my ass right now. <laughs> I mean, really. Oh, I was listening to Miss Crochet and Coffee yesterday. Lady, whoever you are, telling people that Santa and the elves aren't real. Oh. And poor Miss Coffee is trying not to curse. I just tell her to bite my Santa, you know what. I get that crap all the time. The pious, holier-than-thou pearl clutchers who think they have to, you know. Look. I know Jesus is a part of it. I know it's his birthday. I've got it. But, damn it, don't ruin these poor children's joy. You know? Just take it to yourself. Anyway, I got another pack of relief papers. These papers last forever. They really do. But you got to lay them down right the first time. Because if you don't... <laughs> And it's really important to make sure that all the gluey areas are covered because, I don't know about you, but I am a lint trap for anything gluey. I mean, the dog hair, the jersey knit, anything I wear, glow, you know. But I do love them because I don't feel so overwhelmed with the project because I, um, hang on, I'm going to try turning it this way and I'll do this side thing, work my way over. Um, you know, when you look at a, a diamond painting, when you, when you keep the clear paper down and you just mask it off with the tape, I get overwhelmed. Because all I see is is everything I have to do. And I'm not crazy about that at all. There we go. We're getting there. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think she's going to be a problem. I think this is going to be, after, after Think of Me, oh, anything's easier than that. She gave me headaches. That girl, but oh, was she worth it? worth all the pain and suffering. I mean, I don't know any single crafter or artist that has not suffered <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Somewhere, somehow, you have all suffered for your art. You know, I mean, it just, just, you get in that window and it's like, eck. But, you know what? The crazy passes, and before you know it, you are looking at something lovely. Now, long-suffering husband, by the way, he's doing so much better. Everybody who sent a uh, God bless long-suffering husband, thank you. I appreciate it. He appreciates it. We all appreciate it. It's so lovely. It's so lovely to be cared about, even from afar, um, because care is care, you know. Anyway, we've had quite a month of, uh, oh God, got to do this, got to do that. My poor Santas. I have had my blue polar bear Santas for 19 years. Yeah, the first year John and I ever got married. <laughs> I, I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. I don't care. Um, that's what old people do. They love to tell their favorite stories over and over again. 
I think moving into senility is going to be a very easy transition for me. What do you guys think? I don't think it's going to take much effort at all. I really don't. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm laughing about that. And at the same time, I'm thinking, is it here yet? Did I, did I get there? Did I miss it? Oh my gosh. Um, so 19 years ago, uh, we got married in October. Matter of fact, Miss Crochet and Coffee and I have the same wedding anniversary. So we got to celebrate that together. And, um, although I've been married a little longer than her. Uh, my husband, you know, we hadn't dated even a year. I mean, we knew. When you know, you know. I was like, that's it. I like this guy. I like him so much. And I will spend all of my free time with him. And he will be mine. And I will name him Henry. And, you know, all those things. It's like, I'm keeping him. If he doesn't have a third eye looking at me from his chin, I'm going to marry him. That's it. You know, because he was so kind. I mean, we were put together on a blind date. We talked on the phone for six months before we ever met. And then he wanted to take me out in February. And the day he asked me out, he said, we really have to just, can we please just meet in person? You know, and I was like, yeah, I guess. But I was really fat back then, you know. Kind of makes me a little nostalgic. I'm kind of fat now. But <clears throat> I go through the fat and the skinny thing like Oprah. I, my body changes. I am such an emotional eater. There's just no way out of it. I am what I am. I'm flawed. And uh, you know what? Some people aren't going to like that. I don't care. i got to get this guy out of here. I'm always terrified it's going to go the wrong way. And stick to the diamond painting. And you know what happens then. It's like ruined. Ruined for life. Anyway. So. Uh, to make a long story even longer. <laughs> but what the hell. We got time right. I'm not going anywhere. Are you going anywhere? Get a coffee. Come hang out. What are you working on? By the way. Um, I want to know where everybody's at. Because I know that. Sometimes during the holidays, people go all in, and then sometimes they just are, like, so busy. Because God knows, something happens. November shows up, and the days are shorter, and the list is longer, and there just ain't no way out of it. Anyway, so John and I never had a holiday together before we got married. Okay, um, I couldn't meet him for our first date because it was on my birthday. My son and I have exactly the same birthday. Now, for those of you out there who practice astrology and know about astrology, you're going to love this. This will freak you out. But for me, it's just, oh, well, it happened, you know, and obviously, um, you know, God had better plans than me, but, but my son and I were born and he was a preemie. He was only three pounds, nine ounces it was uh, a very, very tough infancy. Um, I, I really do. I, I jealously gloat women who have babies and then go to the mall in two days. You know, I, did not have that kind of pregnancy at all. Um, I had toxemia. I was in a coma uh, for six weeks and um, nearly died. And little David was on a heart monitor for almost three years. Anyway, <clears throat> but we have exactly, are you feels oh, there's gook on my fingernail. You know, Every time I think I got my hands washed, but then there's something left over you. Anyway, um, 
I couldn't meet with him because he wanted to go out on February 25th. And February 25th, my son and I have exactly the same birthday. We were born the same hour, the same minute, the same day. Yeah. Got it on his birth certificate. Got it on my... I didn't know for years. I mean, actually, I had to... You know, how often do you look at your birth certificate, right? Never. You know, I mean, once in a while, you have to dig out your social security card when you're filling out paperwork. But I was putting um, an emergency bag together, like a, an accordion folder, so that if there was ever a fire or an emergency, you know, I could just grab it and it would have all our information in it and it would be right by the front door, which is what everybody should do. Um, find a secret place right by your front door, a closet, coat closet, whatever. Have it somewhere you can grab it and run. Anyway, so I couldn't go on a date with him. And you know what he did? He didn't even know me. He didn't know me from that. Like I said, we were phone friends. And he was really scared of getting caught up and put into the friend zone. And I told him, I said, look, Mr. Man, I've got to explain something to you. I'm not, what do you want to wear? What looks Christmassy? I have more rings coming. I had to order them on Amazon because uh, I went to Sam Moon's and I couldn't even get in the parking lot. I said, well, forget that. You know, I mean, really, how, may, how impatient can I be? Anyway, um, my hands are so, I gotta take some water pills or something. They are like, oh, sausages. Anyway, um, so, uh, I couldn't go out with him. You know, I said, no, it's my son's birthday. And he was like, I said, look, I'm not trying to find a man. I am very busy right now trying to raise a man. And at the time, David was about five years old. Um, he had, we, we just had our five-year-old birthday. Five is a big number, you know, and his birthdays, I don't care how broke. I worked two jobs. I took care of my child. I um, ironed for half the state troopers in Texas. I used to iron their uniforms for them. I loved ironing and it was something I could do while David was sleeping and I did it for like buck ass cheap, you know, compared to what the dry cleaners would charge. So, um, the uh, state trooper, one state trooper that was a friend of mine, I took care of his son for him. That's really, that's a whole nother story. And it's a very sweet story. I'll tell it another time. Anyway. <clears throat> um, he put the word out to all the other state troopers, you know, because they're on a budget too. And uh, I said, you wash them. I will press them and have them ready for you. And I mean, I had like eight state troopers coming and going. My, I mean, the apartment I lived in, oh my God, people were like, so like, I kind of kept to myself. I had, I was friends with my next door neighbor. Um, she was this big, she's African American, but she was part Tonga, Tongan, I guess is the word. So she was like six foot four. I'm not kidding. And her name was Devora. And if you're out there, hey, Devora, I love her so much. She helped me through the worst time in my life. You know, I was a single mother with a baby on a heart monitor. I couldn't leave him with anybody. So um, I said, um, you know, so, so that was like one of my jobs. I mean, and I cooked and I catered. I, I ironed for the church. I used to iron all their altar linens, but I never really got paid for that. <sighs> I wonder why they never paid me for that. Anyway, um, so I, I was a busy girl. You know, I still had, I mean, I had my son, but I had a life going on. And... 
the um the 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 balance the balancing act that you have to do is insane watch i bet did i bet dear suffering husband the mask and oh he did he made one for magical tree thank god i always have him print me a big copy <laughs> It's like, look, this is my special needs legend. I need it. <laughs> you know, I'm like, help. Anyway, um, so I couldn't go out on a date with him because it was my birthday. Again, I deflect. I'm all over the place today. You're going to have to keep up with me. So he sent me the most beautiful bouquet of flowers. It was like... He never, ever asked me, in all the time we talked on the phone, he never asked me what kind of flowers I like. And yet there were like three different shades of uh, blush and pink roses and lavender roses. Lavender rose is my favorite color, my favorite flower ever, and hydrangeas, and it was just beautiful. Well, <laughs> he didn't know my apartment number. So he sent it to the apartment office and the office was like, you know, uh, girl, why do I have the popo coming in here every day? You got cops coming and going like it's a police station in here and they're all state troopers. What the hell's going on? And I had to tell her, you know, I iron for them, you know, cause I could press their, their uniforms and they would look perfect, and I always put them on pretty hangers, you know, like like the good, not those cheap wiry hangers, but the, the really good coated hangers, you know, and I told them, bring the hangers back to me, and, and they would. They always brought me a, a bag of uniforms and hangers, and um, anyway, <laughs> so uh, I had three guys coming by on the same day. And all three of them were like, oh, you found out about the hookup. You found out about Joanna, didn't you? And they were like, yeah. So all three of them, I was walking out of the office with this bouquet of flowers. And all three of them stopped and one of them put his lights on. <laughs> and I was like, Joshua, what? Why are you trying to show off? He was like, no, um... I need to talk to you, ma'am. We need to pull you over. Who is bothering our single mother and, and trying to, and, and they all knew, you know, mm -mm, single mom, don't mess with a single mom. They protected me and they were very kind and, and they always made sure, you know, when I had pneumonia one year at Christmas before I met John, I caught pneumonia and I mean, every day, oh God. I went to the doctor. I had a hundred and three temperature. They were like, you have to go in the hospital. I was like, I can't. No way, I can't go. I got a kid. And um they were like, Well, you have to you have to go on antibiotics and you have to literally lay down and you can't move at all. And I was like, Okay, I'll call my girlfriend, so they'll help me, but I'm not going to the hospital. And they couldn't force you, you know. They had to, uh, you know, <laughs> they couldn't make you go to the hospital, you know. Anyway, those guys, yeah, good people. And <laughs> so they saw me with all these flowers, okay. It's now February. It's 25th. My birthday. They all gave me extra money for my birthday. You know, they were really, really sweet and very generous. And and uh, they just love not having to pay the dry cleaner fee to get their uniforms pressed. Because if you're a state trooper and you show up for work and there's a wrinkle in your pants or if your crease they actually take a ruler to your ass if your creases aren't perfect they will send you home they will they're not messing around these are the most elite of the elite and they want you looking fly and honey 
One thing I loved to do was iron. I could iron for hours and hours. And I put on music or I put on a movie. And before I knew it, it it's, it's a lot of fun for me. And I'll tell you why. Because everybody else is going to think I'm mental right now. When you iron, you start with a pile of wrinkled up mess. And then you're watching a movie or listening to music. You're doing your little steam thing. You go into a mental state where you're not even like, you know, there. And then you look up and it feels like one minute has gone by. It's like when you start diamond painting and three hours goes by. And it's like, where did that three hours go, man? I just did this for like a minute. But um, you see instant results all these pressed out beautiful uniforms everybody in a line everybody in a row everybody with everybody and it, it it's like instant gratification but i could iron you know 25 uniforms in like two and a half hours and you know they always paid me for it they paid me well and and at christmas time or at my birthday um they would, they would always throw in a little extra and, oh, they love David. They would, they would just, you know, they brought David so many toys and things. He was just like, thanks, Copper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he always said. Thanks, Copper. Be careful. Take Jesus with you. He would always say that. Take Jesus with you. Witcha. I mean, I was like, what are you from Maryland? What do you mean, witcha? And then, and then, he used to say, and then, and he'd say, witcha. And I, I, I never, I never could figure out where he picked that, where he picked that up. But it was funny. <laughs> Little funny anecdote. Um, anyway, so, John and I met, fell in love, got married. Got married in October. Uh, met in February, got married in October, got a house. We actually got into the house before we got married. Sorry, Catholic people. Get over it. It's not the 1800s. Okay. Um, and we had to get this house right away anyway. Somebody else was going to close on it. Thank God they, they had... Uh, their finances didn't work. Anyway, so... I'm sorry. I'm so sniffling. Hang on. I need a tissue. Man, my nose... Today is not my day. Freaking weather. Oh. I mean, I swear to God, it's like 40 degrees in the morning. It went up to 70 yesterday. My allergies are losing it. Losing it. Okay, so finally... <laughs> Finally, week after my birthday, um, my husband now, who then was my date, didn't know. I, I knew what he looked like. I'd seen pictures of him. He saw a few pictures of me. I wasn't taking a lot of pictures. Post-birth was not a pretty place for me. I have... I think three or four really good pictures of David and I when he was little because Olin Mills gave us a free photo shoot. And then they actually put our portrait in their window and because they made a big one, like a 16 by 20, and they said, we're going to put this in our window and use it for an advertisement. And um, after, you know, 90 days, you can have it. And I was like, wow, sure. So I was all about Olin Mills. Anyway, so uh, finally, night of the date, <laughs> he forgets to write down the address. You know, so he thinks he knows where he's at. He's roaming around. He's got these flowers. He's going back and forth and back and forth. And I'm sitting on my sofa. There's a window with the horizontal blinds, you know. And I'm looking and I'm watching him go back and forth. And I'm like, maybe I should just let him wander around for another 10 minutes or so. And I went, no, that's just ugly. And I literally popped my head out and I went, John, where are you going? 
<laughs> he stopped dead in his tracks. He was like, I'm so sorry. I wanted to be here on time and and I wanted to make sure the flowers weren't wilty and then I had to stop and get gas in my car and there was this homeless person and I, I just feel so, I'm horrible. I was like, well, what did the homeless person say? He said, he said he was hungry. I just, I gave him some money and, you know, for a minute I thought, you know, I might get mugged here, but he was harmless. Anyway, as soon as I found out he gave a homeless man money at the gas station, I was like, I'm going to marry him. I'm going to marry him. So we got married and October came and went in a New York heartbeat. Look at, there's more hair. George and Fiona are blowing me out. Um, you know, we got married and, and so he'd never seen me like do a holiday. And his idea of Christmas was, you know, a little Charlie Brown tree with one bulb. <laughs> he came home that first year. Oh, where's my phone? Hold on. If I had my phone, I would show you. He came home and I had the tree, the garlands, every single windowsill was lit up. You could land a 747 in my driveway. I had that bitch. I mean, oh my God. You know, but back then I was younger and I, I was very organized. I knew what I was going to do because I was planning this in my head for weeks ahead of time. One thing I do know how to do is plan. And so um, it was just execute. And I had to execute. My neighbor showed up because she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm decorating for Christmas. And she was like, it's not Halloween yet. And I went, uh, Halloween, who cares about that? It's Halloween, you know, Thanksgiving is a day, okay? Christmas is a season. I wanted to be ready for this season. But anyway, he came home. I had no idea he was such a Christmas holic. He literally cried like a girl. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I'm talking about tears. I'm talking about like 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 my kitten just died or my aunt just died or my grandma just died. I mean, I'm talking about real big fat, juicy, delicious tears. He really, really lost it. And uh, so, you know, ever since then, I've been over decorating and he was into it. And then we were asked one year, oh, look at the blue. Oh, these are blue ABs. Look at, oh, wait. Can you, can you see them? Is the light too hot? Hold on a minute. Look at that color. I love that color. I want my whole life. I want to dress made out of that. Anyway, so that's the Christmas decorating story. And that's why we decorate early every stupid year. And by God, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I got lucky. I got lucky because I got a husband and a friend and a partner who gets all that crazy. He doesn't watch it from afar and shake his head and go, here she goes. Mm -mm. He doesn't complain. Oh my God, we just got married and we have all these bills to pay and maybe buying a seven foot polar bear isn't such a great idea, but we did. We bought them the first year we got married because we had to have something big and, and, and polar -y in our front yard. And, um, yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's a real, it's a real blessing. I mean, you don't have, you have to stop and say, Jesus, girl, you are so damn lucky. You are so damn lucky. You found a guy who will go into the crazy with you. So if you're single and you're out there, find a guy who gets into your crazy with you. Don't find a guy 
who's going to judge you're crazy or tell you you're coloring outside the lines. Because that guy, that guy is judgy. He's going to be judgy until you're dead. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't let judgy people in your world. If they're judgy and if they're telling you, you you know, you, yeah, you might be a nice girl, but you got some real zits on your face. Get the, get the hell out of here. Get the freaking hell out of my life. Get out of my door. Lose my number. You're not seeing who I am because I am that girl who's going to come and pick you up on the bad day and you know what the bad day is the bad day is I don't have anybody else to call and you know what just hit the fan and I need somebody to come and pick me up we got to go to Starbucks we got to go to the bar we got to go to church we got to go somewhere but please get me out of here I am that girl you know I had a friend who was like that and she always called me her 911 friend and one year she made a t-shirt <laughs> that said happy birthday 911 girl and i didn't realize it but you know what i'm not scared of that at all i think my 911 calls are the best that's when i'm at my best that's when i'm calm that's when i'm determined um and my husband, that guy, that guy who said yes, he gets that. He knows who I am because he's had 911 calls. And those 911 calls, I'm always there for him. You know, take pride in being that 911 girl. I know sometimes you feel like, man, I just, can I just be a Kardashian for a minute? <laughs> Let me tell you something. The whole Kardashian thing, it's a cartoon, okay? Really, it's as valid as Bugs Bunny. You got to be who you are and be proud of it. And don't you ever let anybody second think or make you second think you. Don't ever, ever, ever. I mean it. I will find you. I will come to your door and kick your butt myself. Don't do it. Don't let people bully you. Don't let people talk to you like that. It's too much of that crap going around right now. And I've had to blow a few people off. And I've had to make some major edits on my social media. Because you know what? I don't need that from you. I don't need you to tell me if your bag and your wallet doesn't match, we can't be friends. Well, girl, you got the wrong girl. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if you have a bag at all. So there. Okay, I'm done ranting. I just wanted everybody to know that um, I love you. We're going to get through this season together. And I am going to get her kitted up. Because magical Christmas. It's really, you know what's weird about this though? I was looking at this, the whole tree. There's no green on this tree. There's no green in this kit at all. It's all blue and silver and white and more blue and, huh, that's going to be a really interesting tree to do, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you soon. I know I've gone way too long. I hope you got something done on your ribbon chat today. I hope you feel good about yourself. Um, if I ever do anything that doesn't make you feel good about yourself, uh, you know what? I'm doing it wrong. But if you do feel good about yourself, I'm doing it right. I think I am doing it right a little bit. I'm not perfect. God knows I'm not infallible. Ooh. I apologize every day before I get out of bed. <laughs> Dear Lord, forgive me for what I'm about to do and say and eat. <laughs> oh, amen. Can I get an amen from the choir? Amen. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. You're important. Stay well, stay happy, and shine on. Bye.